Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I am going to be telling you guys how I find locations for my trips and how I plan my trips for photography. Now, there are a few different ways, guys. Let me just sort my camera out. Um, one of the obvious ways is the internet, and there is many different ways of doing it so guys i am planning a trip to north wales next month i don't know if you know um me and leah are going so i've been looking for locations for north wales and and a good thing to type in so i'll show you what i typed in guys i typed in top 10 places to photograph in wales now i know this is going to be a broad sort of search because it's going to show south it's going to show west north you know all of that but i come across i come across this a while ago actually um there's 29 places in wales that could be straight out of a fairy tale now this article really really helped me guys because um there's a place in north wales as you can see by the picture and it looks like it's in italy uh when it's not um it's called port marion i think that's how they pronounce it and articles like this guys are really helpful for photographers even if you're not a photographer and you're just a travel enthusiast and you want stuff to do um i suggest websites like this just because they help so much you know you've got i don't even know how to pronounce that ogwen i don't know how to pronounce the first part you've got southern down which is local to me i know about that um but you've got you know conway this place i never knew about this place so the articles like this are amazing for research um and they, like i said there's a there's a few different ones i mean this is about um south wales so this will be another good article for me because i live in south wales and it's local to me but when i googled it as well guys um the top suggestions was actually the best places to photograph in wales and it literally shows you a map so this could be a starting point see guys so um how do i go away right so guys you can zoom in and literally see locations to photograph now i don't know what this is what's it gonna say it is I don't even know how to pronounce that um, but as you can see by doing research um, it, just typing in random stuff on Google it helps now the next one is Facebook I mean a lot of photography related pages on Facebook and some of the time um, I don't know why it's taking so long to load um, I don't need to load it up but sometimes the photographers will put the location with their photos um if they don't and you're interested i suggest just asking because these locations are hidden they're not like the abandoned ones um my laptop's taking ages to load so i'm not gonna do that there is another website i can't think of guys and it gives you pins so i'll put that across the screen when i find it out um, but as you can see, there's so many websites you can find. Um, the next one, guys, is books. Now, I know a lot of people may not like books, um, but I ordered Wales Wild Guide, and it was like £12. Now, I'm not really a book person, but this book helped me so much. It's obviously all of Wales. Um, there's about 300 pages in here. And it has sections and sections. It has ruins, mountain walks, waterfalls, even pubs, pubs and restaurants, and just quirky places to visit. Um, now, some of these locations um, are places I visited. Uh, this is a place I will be visiting again, Port, uh, Port Wen Brickworks. I actually went when I had a break off YouTube, guys, so I didn't record. Um, but there's other locations on here, like there's a church on an island, I'll show you a picture, there's a black and white 
lighthouse. Um, I can't think the name of it, but I'll get a picture up for you. Um, this South Stack lighthouse, and it's just it's it's a phenomenal book, and I suggest it all of the way. The next tips I can give you guys is more or less like Instagram because people do geo tag it again, so you can go on maps and find out where it is. Um, Twitter and they're like sort of like the online ones on even YouTube because YouTube will help you out but then the way I plan it guys so I'll find an area that I want to like go to so for example North Wales and going all over I will get all a list of locations that I want and then I'll start planning a route so how far they are apart from each other because I, I really like to be organized so I'll let you put them in order of like what area they're in, how long it'll take and then I'll have all of them on my phone and I'll let you go through them like that and that's how I get uh, my locations guys um, for abandon wise people are going to be asking me uh, believe it or not guys a lot of it I have found locations on my own but a lot of it is word of mouth so I suggest just going on the Facebook groups posting a lot commenting on people's posts um, going on Instagram as well because I find once you build your name up I was randomly getting people messaging me going look I know you like locations like this so you should check this place out and that's how I got most of my locations to popular belief when people ask how you find your locations a lot of people go oh, a lot of research all of this and a lot of it guys is just word and mouth it is hard to find locations people do stumble across them and that's how they come uh, seen in the urbex world um, when it comes to, like foreign countries I'm quite lucky because networking over the years I've got a lot of friends everywhere like um, in 2018 I went to Italy with James I met James online great friend of mine I went to New York last year and Manaz she um, took me around New Jersey for the day and I got to see some amazing abandoned locations and I even went to Georgia last year with James and he planned everything we went to architectural places abandoned places and just places that were like scenic and very nice for photography um, like I said guys with the internet these days it's so easy to plan a trip you've just got to literally look on Facebook forums websites know what to type in books I I'm not endorsed or I'm not getting paid for this but I highly suggest getting the Wales Wild Guide. I'm assuming there's going to be like a Scottish Wild Guide as well and stuff like that. Um, but that book is really really good and most of my locations come from that book alone guys. Um, like I said throughout the video I will if you're interested I'll show you some pictures of the locations I will be visiting in North Wales and I'll try and put some below just to help you out if you need it and um, that's pretty much it guys that's how I find locations I just look on articles books Instagram Facebook uh, word and mouth um, I'm even going to I'm trying to go to New Zealand next year guys to um, see some of the Lord of the Rings locations so through research I have found some off the internet but most of them are in this book and this book was literally three pound and it's got like all of the locations in New Zealand so you know with a bit of perseverance and dedication guys you will find locations to shoot um, I'm gonna end the video there because I'll keep on rambling on any questions guys just leave them below on locations if you're after a location off me not so much abandoned anymore because I haven't really got any abandoned places anymore because I'm sort of moving away from it. I'll be doing it every now and again, so don't don't leave. Or if you feel you don't want to watch content anymore, but leave. But like I said, any any questions, just leave them down below, and I'll answer them. If I did help you in some ways, guys, if you could give it a like, the video it helps me out incredibly, and maybe share it. And if you're new to the channel, guys, please uh, consider subscribing for more photography related content so thanks for watching this video guys and i'll see you in the next one